Good evening, it's Ms. Dolores from Baldwin Borough Public Library. Welcome to our second Baldwin Bedtime Books for Fall. Um, today we are going to do um, a fall themed uh, bedtime story time for families. As you can see, I am not at the library. This is actually my front porch. Um, and I'm coming from my home to your home to say welcome. And as you can see behind me, I have some mums here. I have cornstalk, I have pumpkins um, in many different colors, and maybe that is what your front porch or um, your front porch may be looking like uh, soon. So hopefully you have your pumpkins um, with you, and if not, send me some pictures. Let me see what your fall decorations look like so you can put them in the comments section. Um, so we're going to get started today with um, some pumpkins and they're gonna have different faces on and the faces represent emotions. So as you know, we have many different emotions. Sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're angry, sometimes we're sad and that's all okay. The important part is to make sure that you talk with your grown-up about your feelings. Why you are feeling the way you are feeling is very important and your grown-up wants to hear that from you. So we're going to start out um, with a song and you can see this pumpkin is what? That's right, happy. All right, we're going to sing. Ready? One little pumpkin, happy, happy. Be one little pumpkin, happy, happy. One little pumpkin, happy, happy. One little pumpkin is happy. All right, can you make a happy face? Let me see your smile. Let me see, that's awesome. All right, are you ready for our next emotion? All right, the opposite of happy is sad. Oh no, ready? One little pumpkin, sad, sad. One little pumpkin, sad, sad. One little pumpkin, sad, sad. One little pumpkin is sad. Can you make a sad face? It's hard for Miss Dolores to make a sad face, but I'm gonna try, are you ready? Good job. All right. Yeah, I, I would much rather smile. And I'm, I'm sure you would too. Okay, what's our next emotion? All right. Do you know what this one is? It is silly. Do you like to be silly? Are you ready to sing with me? One little pumpkin, silly, silly. One little pumpkin, silly, silly. One little pumpkin, silly, silly. One little pumpkin is silly. All right, time for you to make your best silly face. Are you ready? Good job. All right, what's our next emotion? Uh-oh. Sometimes when we're really, really upset, we are angry. Are you ready to sing? One little pumpkin, angry, angry. One little pumpkin, angry, angry. One little pumpkin, angry angry one little pumpkin is angry all right it's hard for me to do an angry face too do you want to do angry face with me all right we're gonna cross our arms and go mm. we are so angry we couldn't get together with our friends and we're really upset all right our last emotion is i like this one do you know what this one is it's a surprised face when you're just so surprised about something you ready to sing? One little pumpkin, surprise, surprised. One little pumpkin, surprise, surprised. One little pumpkin, surprise, surprised. One little pumpkin is surprised. Can you make a surprised face with me? Ready? What is something that you have been surprised about? Maybe you were surprised that mom and dad told you you were going to have a little brother or sister or maybe you were surprised that you were going to get ice cream so there's lots of different reasons why you can be surprised okay so our first book um, about fall is called who loves the fall and it's written by bob roska okay i'm going to come a little 
closer to the camera so you can see the pictures. Who Loves the Fall by Bob Raska. Who loves the fall? All right, what do you see in the tree? Do you see this little squirrel? Okay, and see all the little nuts right here? All right, so she is looking up at the tree and she's seeing the different colors of the uh, tree, which are right now red, yellow, and orange, and maybe you have those colors in your yard. Rakers love the fall. Rakers and who else loves the fall? Leapers. Do you love to jump in the piles of leaves that your grown up rakes? This is a big, a big page. I'm going to step back. Corn crop reapers. Okay, so you can see the piece of machinery right here. And you see how it's going along and it's reaping all of the wheat and it's turning it and it's putting it um, into the other piece of machinery that's attached. Growers and pickers. What are they picking? That's right, apples. We did that last time. And taffy liquors. Okay, so this is a fall festival. Don't know if you're going to a fall festival um, this year, but you can always get some caramel or candy apples. Those are really good in the fall. Quilters, maybe you have a nice quilt. Choppers, all right, why do you think they're chopping wood? Do you know? That's right, okay, so you might have a fireplace in your house or you could have a bonfire outside where you roast marshmallows. That's a fun fall thing to do. And helicopters. Okay, they don't mean the helicopter that's in the sky. They mean these helicopters that fall from the trees. And they, sometimes they're called whirly birds. It's interesting to see what they're called in different parts of the state. Um, and they fall from the tree and they whirl around before they hit the ground. And it's kind of fun to throw them up in the air and see what they do. Winged migrators, okay. So that's a big term, but you see these birds, they're migrating, that means they're flying south where it's warm for the winter. So when you start to see the birds all in a big flock and they're flying, they are migrating somewhere warm. And hibernators, who is hibernating in that cave? Did you see the bear? Ready to go to sleep for the winter. Hooters. Who's this? Woo -hoo. And howlers. Can you howl like a wolf? A wolf? Woo! Good job. And loud meowers. Okay, I see three cats. Can you meow like a cat? Meow. Bonfire builders. Okay, remember we talked about that that wood he was chopping so you could use it for a bonfire and you see these yummy s'mores that they're making and pie crust fillers okay so maybe you have helped bake maybe you've joined in our book cooks program um, or maybe you've helped your grown-up bake something for fall oh this page goes like this what do you see that's right, you see some butterflies. So this author, um, every, every book that this author does, one page um, goes vertical and the rest of the pages go horizontal. So that's just a trademark of this author. Even former caterpillars, okay? You remember those caterpillars turned into what? Yes, butterflies. Adders. Okay, so you may be in school right now, and you may be doing math either in school or at home. And spellers. All right, do you have a spelling list that you work on? And show and tellers. Okay, so show and tell can be done whether you're in school or whether you're um, on your computer. You can always show and tell something uh, from your home. 
uh, this boy is showing that he has uh, tur pet turtles. So, um, and also there's artwork hanging up. You can also show and tell anything. You can show and tell food, art, pets, anything you like. And passers. Okay, as you can see, they're playing football. So maybe you've been doing that in your backyard. And punters. Or maybe you've been playing soccer. And pumpkin hunters. Okay, maybe you've gone to Trex Farm or Simmons Farm or somewhere to get some pumpkins uh, for your front porch. Trickers and treaters. Do you plan on dressing up for Halloween? Are you going trick or treating this year? Put in the comments what you're going to dress up as this year, whether you're going out or not. It's always fun to dress up. And turkey eaters. Okay, this is more something that we do in November when we have Thanksgiving. Don't you love the fall? All right, there they are laying in the leaves, which is a really fun thing to do. And then um, this tells you some terms like reaping, maple tree, migrate, hibernate, and monarch butterflies. And it tells you information about all of that in the back. So really love uh, these books by uh, Rob Raska. And like I said, they all go horizontal and then one page in each book goes vertical. So kind of fun. And so what I'm gonna ask you to do is if you could run and get something um, that you can use as a scarf. So you can get a, a dish towel, you can get a washcloth, you can get any kind of towel, anything that would move. Um, so we're gonna do a little leaf song with our towel or scarf or anything that you have. Um, if you belong to our 1000 Books Before Kindergarten program, you should have got one of these this week to keep. And if you um, haven't joined and would like to, just please stop in the library and we can get you all signed up and we can give you a literacy bag. All right, so we're gonna get our scarf and we're gonna throw it up and catch it. This is great um, hand-eye coordination, um, no matter what age they are, just a really fun thing to do and you could do it anytime. Okay, you ready? We're gonna throw it and catch it to our song. Autumn leaves are falling down falling down falling down did you catch it autumn leaves are falling down get your fingers all around the town good job all right mr lurs dropped your scarf all right so now we're gonna the wind's gonna come and it's gonna blow all those leaves off the trees ready wind will blow them round and round Round and round, go in a circle. Round and round, wind will blow them. Round and round, get your fingers all around the town. Good job. All right, we're going to get um, a rake and we're gonna rake all those leaves that blew off the tree. Ready, can you make a long rake? Good job. Take a rake and rake them up. Rake them up, rake them up. Take a rake and rake them up. Get your fingers all around the town. Okay, we're gonna have our leaves fall down. Ready? Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down. Get your fingers all around the town. Good job, my friends. All right, so we're gonna do um, our second book for tonight, and I'm gonna come closer to the screen so you can see that book. Our last book tonight is called Fall Leaves Fall, and it is written by Zoe Hall. Um, she has a lot of good um, seasonal books, and this is one of my favorites for fall. All right, so you can see in the summer, which is the season we just had, all of the leaves were what color? What color do you see on these leaves? That's right, green. All right, but as the season goes on, oh, what do you see here? We just sang about it in our last song. That's right, a rake. How many rakes do you see? One, two, good job. 
All year long, my brother and I wait for our favorite season to come. Can you guess what it is? Fall. How do we know when fall is coming? All right, so some of the leaves might look this color in your yard right now. We watch the leaves. In summer, the leaves on the trees are, what color is the leaves? That's right, they're green. All right, and you can see they don't have any shoes or socks on. They have shorts and short sleeve on, so you know it's summertime. You can see the birds in the trees. Definitely summer. But when the leaves change colors, we know fall is here. Okay, so the leaves are getting less sunshine and it's causing them um, to not, because they get less sunshine, it's causing them to um, fall off the trees. So that's why they change colors and that's why they fall. Look at all the fall colors. Leaves turn red and orange and yellow. Okay, so you can see some yellow over here, orange, red, and then you can see some darker, uh, darker red leaves. And now, instead of a bird, you can see this squirrel. When the wind blows, leaves start to fall from the trees. We try to catch them. Okay, so you might have, um, if you have a butterfly net, it's a really fun thing to do, as you can go out in your yard, and when the leaves uh, start falling off the trees, especially when it's windy, you can catch them in your net. We like to stomp on the leaves and hear crunch. We like to kick the leaves too. All the fall colors fly back into the air. Okay, so you can see his shoe kicking the leaves up into the air. And you can also see different types of leaves. So this is always fun, is you can collect leaves and then look them up and see what kind they, they are. We like to collect leaves. Some leaves are very small. Some leaves are big. Some leaves have pointy edges and some leaves have smooth edges. When the leaves cover the ground, it's time to rake them up. We sang about that. Take the rake and rake them up in our last song. Do you have a small rake that you can use in your yard to help rake? You can see the squirrels are gathering nuts. At last, we have made a huge pile. Next, what do you think they're going to do after they make that huge pile of leaves? You guessed it. We jump in. All right, that's the best part, right? Raking them all up and then taking a dive right into that pile. Inside, we drink mugs of warm cider and eat lots of cookies. Okay, it looks like even their cookies are shaped like leaves. Okay, these leaves came from our favorite trees. Okay, so in the back of this book, it even tells you what kind of leaves they are. Oak maple, sassafras, this is another oak, beech, and ginkgo. All right, so maybe you have some of these leaves in your yard. We make pictures with our leaves. Okay, that's a really fun thing to do. Also, you can make, see how they did? You can make leaves look like people. And give them a head and a body and arms. So that's a fun thing to do with your leaves. Do a little artwork. Before long, the leaves have turned brown and the branches are bare and all the fall colors are gone, but we know they will be back next year. All right, so when, when fall is done, you see no more leaves on the trees and that's how you know winter hat time. We're not there yet. And this is how leaves go, grow through the years in the back of this book. So it's really nice that these authors just put um, little facts in the back of their books that are age appropriate for uh, your child. Okay, so for our last thing, um, we're going to do a little activity. I did this on Tuesday um, with 
a craft kit that we have at the library. If you would like to pick up a craft kit, just place up at the library and you can get one. Um, if you can't stop, you can also uh, do this craft with materials that you have at home. Really simple, you just need string. Um, you need a straw cut up, so you just need a pair of scissors. Um, and you need just a little bit of tape to tape to the ends of the string. And we used fake leaves, but you could also use uh, real leaves. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick and cute fall necklace. Okay, so we're going to work together on our craft to make an autumn necklace. Um, you have a little sheet inside your bag if you're not gonna make it now and you just wanna remember, or you can just um, get out your materials now. So we have a piece of string you should have three leaves and you notice um, they have holes in them. And you should have some cut up paper straws. And that's all you need for this. So if it's a little easier for your child, you can put a piece of um, tape, any kind of tape right on the end so that it's easier for them to slide in the straws and the leaves so I just have a little piece of scotch tape. It's very small. You don't want it to be too thick so that it doesn't go through the straw. I'm just gonna wrap it around the top of the piece of string just so it can feed its way through the straw and the leaves. All right, so you're gonna take your straw, just find three different patterns, then have your child uh, put them on, just slide the string through. Three different patterns of straws. Okay, so now you have it like this. And now you're gonna add a leaf onto that. So you're gonna go underneath, pull it through, and then down. So that it looks like this. And you're just gonna continue that so you're going to do uh, one more. I'm gonna put another piece of tape on the other end actually, so you can do both ends if you want with tape. So right now we have three pieces of straw and a leaf. We're going to do another straw and then another leaf. Backside, across and down. We're gonna do another straw. And our last leaf behind, in front, and behind. And then our last three straws go on the other end. So you'll have three pieces of straw on one, three on another, and two in the middle. And your necklace ends up looking like this. Isn't it pretty? And you can wear it around anywhere you wanna go. It's a very nice, um, so it, if it's not centered, you can just go ahead and push the straw like I'm doing and, and get it nice and centered. And then just knot it at the top and you have a beautiful fall necklace. I hope you enjoyed that craft. Well, thank you for joining in tonight for our fall story time. Uh, send me some pictures, like I said, of your fall decorations, or if you're playing outside in the leaves, or of the necklace that you're making, or anything. Again, please stop at the library if you'd like to pick up a craft. Um, we have plenty that we can give you, or you can do this um, with just supplies that you have at home. Our next um, Baldwin Bedtime Books will be October the 29th. That's another Thursday night. So I will see you then for um, Baldwin Bedtime Books. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.